Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who've already been here, welcome back. And for those who've never been here before, my name is Freddie and welcome to my channel. So I'm dedicating this video for Hispanic Heritage Month and today I'm going to teach you guys some Guatemalan slang. Obviously there's different ways of saying different words all throughout Latin America, the Caribbean, and Guatemala obviously has their own way of talking and I'm going to teach you some I guess you could say popular words that they're saying in Guatemala or that they've been saying. Something I learned from living in New York City, living in Virginia and Atlanta and just meeting Guatemalans from all over the place. Guatemalans obviously have their own slang, but Guatemalans also talk different depending on what part of Guatemala they're from. So without further ado, let's get started. We're learning some Guatemalan slang. So the first word I'm gonna teach you guys is very common all throughout Guatemala. This word is something I've always known to be a Guatemalan word. It is que onda. So what is que onda? Que onda literally just means what's up. Que onda vos? Que on That's my next word. Que onda? Que onda? You know, it's just it's just what's up. My next word is boss. Que onda boss? What is boss? Boss literally means to you. Now I don't know why like. A lot of people that are not from Guatemala or Central America, when they hear boss, they think like it's proper, maybe because that's how they speak it in Spain or somewhere else. But boss is not something that you would say to someone that's older than you. Boss is something that you would say to someone that is like in their 20s or your friend um, or even someone that's younger than you. But I wouldn't say boss at all to someone that's older than you because it's not really like respectful. My next word is sos. Sauce, S O S, sauce. Sauce literally means tu eres, you are. So you can always use boss sauce in a sentence, which literally translates to tu eres, you are. So I know it sounds like interesting, but I'll use it in a sentence. So like, boss sauce bonita, boss sauce estupida, like, sorry. But um, boss sauce literally just translates to tu eres, you are, point blank simple, boss sauce. So my next word is going to be money, which is pisto or plata. Pisto is a lot more common than plata, but I like to say plata because I just am accustomed to saying plata now when I speak Spanish, and I just like the way it sounds, plata, plata. So you can definitely say pisto or plata. Pisto is a lot more common, but it is your mouth and it's up to you what you want to do with it. So my next word is going to be camioneta. What is camioneta? Camioneta is those colorful buses that are driving throughout Guatemala that can take you around the city, take you from the city to Antigua. Um, I know in Panama they call it Diablo Rojo. It's kind of like the same thing. They play music on there and they just take you to your destination. And in English, I don't know why they call it this, but they call it the chicken bus. But I know they also call it a lot of other words. In Spanish, I think they also say burra or like another word, but those colorful buses are camionetas. So if you're looking for that colorful bus and you're trying to communicate in Guatemala, um, just tell them you're looking for the camioneta. My next word is cerote. So cerote is a very common word that all Guatemalans use. However, you want to be careful with saying cerote because cerote is kind of like well, it not kind of, it, it is an offensive word. It's like saying the A word or the B word. But like, if you're speaking with your friend, like, you know, in English, we'd be like, yo, what's up, my, like, you know, or like, you call your friend curse words sometimes because you guys have that friendship already. It's okay to say cerote, but eh, cerote is like, you know, a word that you're like, it's like fighting words or like, and it's, an, it's, it's like, it's just like an offensive term. Like you say it to offend someone and you say it to, because you're mad. But again, like if you have a friend and you're just like, yo, you know, que onda cerote? Que onda, you know, like cerote, it's like, okay. But you definitely don't just go around Guatemala or just saying those to people because it, it is offensive. Okay, you guys, my next word is chucho. What is a chucho? Chucho is just a dog. It's perro. Chucho. Call it what you want, but in Guatemala, we call it chucho. All right, my next word is puchica. 
I really like that word buchica. Buchica is one of those Spanish words that you can't really describe, but like you try to say it's like an expression, if you will. So like buchica, I'll give you an example. Um, you hit your toe. Buchica, I say, but like buchica is just like an. I guess you could say buchica means damn. It doesn't necessarily translate to damn, but buchica is just like one of those expression words, like. You know, puchica. My next word is parquear. So, parquear literally means to park. So, if you didn't know that, parquear means to park. But now, I know for sure in Isabal, you know, along the coast of Guatemala, they already been saying parquear. But I do know that parquear means also to go out. Basilar, hanguear. You know, like other countries say it. But Certain Guatemalans on the coast, typically mainly in Isabel, they say parquear, vamos para parking. El parking is la fiesta, la rumba, la pachanga, la, you know, you want to go to la calle, you know, like, you know. <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. That is what parquear is. Parquear literally means to park, but you can use it in a sentence like let's go out or el parking is la fiesta. It's like let's go to the club, you know, or if your friend calls you, Oh, you know, where are you guys at? Oh, estamos en el parking, you know? My next word, it literally means nap. Cuaje. Cuaje. Yo voy a echar un cuaje. Cuaje is nap. Point blank simple. Cuaje, nap. Nap, cuaje. And let's get going to the next word. My next word is agua. Agua. If you guys are around like any Cubans, I know that Cubans say agua when they're feeling like the music, you know, the salsa está buena, you know, you just, you know, you're feeling the music, you're like, agua! You I always see them go like this and say, agua! But, to a Guatemalan, agua literally means to just like, watch out. So just to give you an example, I remember one day I was walking in the city in Manhattan, and there was like a construction site and I was walking by and I overheard the guy telling his coworker like agua, you know, because I was walking by. Next word is cho. Cho. So I know that sounds like really interesting. So cho literally can translate to like shut up. Like if you have a child and the child is talking back to you, like cho, like you're trying to show your authority in other words. Like that is, you're trying to just like end the conversation at that point, like cho, cho. Or like, my phone fell. My next word is patojo y patoja. So pretty much, make a long story short, patojo is like a boy and patoja is a girl. So this is something that you would only really say to like teenagers or like kids or someone in their 20s or like somebody just like maybe 15 plus years younger than you. But you would never say patojo y patoja, at least to me, which I'm almost 100% sure that's, you don't say those to, for older people. So another one of the words that are very common throughout Guatemala is que chilero, que chilero. That literally just translates to like something that's really cool, something that's like amazing, you know, que chilero. Last but not least, my last word that I'm gonna share with you guys for this video is going to be chute. Chute, no sea chute vos. Chute literally means nosy. And what I just said, if you remembered from vos from the beginning of the video, vos means tú, and I said no sea chute vos. So pretty much I said, yo, don't be nosy. Why you, why, why you being nosy for? Like, don't be nosy. All right, you guys, obviously this was not a beauty or a fashion video. This was just something that I wanted to share with you guys for Hispanic Heritage Month. Just some words, just in case you're dating a Guatemalan or you plan on going to Guatemala. Um, I obviously left out a lot of words that are used in Guatemala as well, but this was just to give you guys just some slang that you can just play around with. And I really hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button and the bell just to always know when I'm going to make another video. Um, I really appreciate the love for those who follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, you know, everyone from back home. I appreciate you. Mwah. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month to everyone and stay blessed.